27114. What's your name and where do you come from? Jim Tavray Seawing, sir. Excellent. And you're in for GBH? Sir. I believe you've got a funny story about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done the bloke with a snooker cue because he said he'd already paid, you know, to teach him a lesson like. Turns out he had paid. My brother took the money, forgot to tell me. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> money problems are terrible, aren't they? I went down to the local bank. I said, I want my balance. He said, well, stop drinking then. <laughs> Somebody should lock me up. <laughs> OK, before we start, let's say a big hello to Officer Mac. <laughs> he may be a guard, but he's not that hard. <laughs> so, Jim, if you win parole this evening, I understand you want to spend more time with your mother. Well, you know, she's in sheltered accommodation. We just want to get her back to Leightonstone, where we live. You know, me and Maureen, now the kids are gone and all that. Fantastic. <laughs> I was born on the third floor of a tower block. No, the fourth. That's another story. <laughs> I was brought up in a lift. <laughs> that works on several levels. <laughs> Somebody put me in solitary. <laughs> OK, let's see if you can win that parole. Start the clock. Question one. Who's responsible for the half-finished tunnel under the kitchen block? I don't know. Come on. All right, it's the Harwood Twins. It's the Harwood Twins. Excellent. Yes, you're one question away from an early release. Are you nervous? Yes, a bit, yeah. He's a little bit nervous. <laughs> Question two. How are the drugs being smuggled into the prison? <laughs> Any idea? Don't know. Come on, Jim. My mind's gone blank, sir. Do you want to get multiple choice? Yeah, all right. Stop the clock. <laughs> Officer Mac, please bring me the multiple choice envelope. <laughs> Jim has chosen to go multiple choice. Here comes the question, Jim. the drugs being smuggled into prison. Start the clock. Is it A, via the bent laundry van driver, B, over the fence into the vegetable garden, or C, during Kenny Unwin's conjugal visits? I definitely get early release. Definitely get early release. That's right. Freedom of the chance to be with your mum. Give me the wrong answer, though, and Jay Wing will know that you grasped up the Harwood twins within the hour. OK, then. Yes. Well, it's... <laughs> Time's up, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid. There's no more chance for you there, Jim. It's a week solitary for you. Officer Mac, please take him away. There you go. Well, I'll be back next week when two more inmates will try and win that parole. And remember, if you can't tell me, who can you tell? <laughs> now, let me through. Right, what happened? I came off my motorbike. I think I've broken my leg. And my right arm, I can't feel it. And there's a shooting pain at the side of my head. OK, I hear what you're saying. And it sounds to me like this. <laughs> my brother is in the garden. Mon frère est dans le jardin. Répétez. My brother is in the garden. Where is the bicycle? <laughs> Où est la bicyclette? Répétez. Where is the bicycle? <laughs> Tim, what are you doing? I'm learning French. It's really easy. As long as you ignore what the second woman is saying. I don't know what the hell she's on about. I think she might be a bit mad. Or as they say in France, I think she might be a bit mad. <laughs> You got a light, mate? <laughs> yeah, I have. Hold this one. Excuse me, mate. Can you hold up for a minute? Yeah, sure. Finished. So <laughs> right, I'll take care of that. <laughs> I finished. Me too. <laughs> See the new album from the Morons has come out. Yeah, I don't like them. Why not? Well, they're always having a go at people, aren't they? Well, it's just a joke, isn't it? Just a joke. Yeah, what about that song, If You're Poor, You're an Idiot? Well, it's just a joke, isn't it? Just a joke. <laughs> yeah, what about that song, If You're Ill, It's Your Own Fault? Well, it's just a joke, <laughs> isn't it? It's just a joke. 
Well, I don't like him. Well, I do. I'm going to have a listen to him. Massive glasses, lopsided grin, <laughs> waste of space, where you been? Yeah, let's go! Loser, loser, loser! <laughs> loser, loser! I prefer the first album. <laughs> I put my whites in with my colours. <laughs> Line. We're going to hook you up to some of the sexiest ladies in town. And don't forget that these ladies are very, very open-minded. So if you don't want hot, steamy sex talk, then hang up now. Okay, we're putting you through. Hello, my name's Karen. Who am I talking to? <laughs> Hi, my name's Dave. All right, Dave, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Good. <laughs> so, uh, what are you wearing, Karen? Bra, knickers, <laughs> shoes and a hat. <laughs> and I wish you were here to see it, Steve. Dave. Dave. Yeah? Why is, uh, why is that? Cos if you were here, I'd snog you. <laughs> right, and then what? We'd go clubbing. <laughs> OK. And after that, I'd snog you again. Is it possible to speak to somebody else? <laughs> yeah, I've it yet. After that, I'd go to bed with you. Oh, yeah. What would happen in bed? We'd have it off. <laughs> <laughs> and what would that involve exactly? Well, you'd get in the bed. Right. And then I would. Go on. Then we'd turn the lights out. Yeah. And then we'd have it off. <laughs> there's a girl called Joanne I usually speak to. Hang on, there's more. <laughs> what? We'd be joined by my flatmate, who's a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she'd walk over to your side of the bed and she'd whisper in your ear, <laughs> I want to touch your legs. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And? And then she'd have it off with you, too. I really want to speak to Joanne, please. And then snog you. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> That's the Taj Mahal. Magnificent. Safari in Kenya. If you look carefully, you can just make out the gazelle there. Oh, yeah, wonderful. A couple of American ones. On the ferry in San Fran. Wow. The Florida Keys. Brilliant. Himalayan mountains. Amazing. And Prague, obviously. God, you're a real globetrotter, aren't you? Eh? Hey? Oh, no, I work at Snappy Snaps just to help myself. <laughs> God, is it going to be here any minute? Look at this place! Day, my sweethearty. Oh, Tim, you remember. Of course I remember. I said to myself, I must remember to buy my wife some flowers. That's right, that's what I said. <laughs> he always remembers what I said. So I went down to my local flower shop and I said to the owner, How much are your chrysanthemums? That's right, that's what I said. <laughs> yes, he said they're 25 pieces of silver. I said, I'll take them. That's right, that's what I said. I said, I'll take them. I said, my wife's worth every penny. That should keep the old trout happy. I never said that. 